Hey gang, Stacy here, wishing you a happy midsummer. That's right, it is midsummer in Jorvik again, and I'm here at the official holiday event grounds. We have a new place, uh, new activities, new quests, new everything that has to do with midsummer, which is super exciting. So Cheese, Sky Petal, and I are here to begin the adventure. We are decked out in our Jorvik garb. We have our dress and saddle pad. Well, I actually don't think the saddle pad is <laughs> an official Jorvik saddle pad, but it matches. And we have our wreaths from, from previous years and our rainbow bow because we just gave out a rainbow tail bow and a rainbow main bow. So you can check those out. It's rainbow main and rainbow tail are the redeem codes. So I have the tail bow on, but I have our flower wreath. This is one of my favorite ones from previous years. We have a few different ones. Ah, yes, that one had a lot of yellow. That one had a lot of purple. And this one was red, white, and blue. Of course, it's super cool. Probably wear that on the 4th of July. And then uh, our character has matching wreaths that we collected throughout the years. Uh, I don't think I have them all. 2017, 2015. It's time we get started. The rangers have made it over here from Mistfall to give us our quests. I am super in love with their saddle pad. I love the badge that's on there. It's so cool. Hello, Ranger Marisol. Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout Northern Europe, but nowhere is it more popular than here in Jorvik. This year's Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Jorvik Rangers, and it's set to be Jorvik's biggest yet. We're almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Of course there are. Do you think you and your horse could help out? That's the spirit. There's three stations where my colleagues can use your assistance. St uh, this is a name. <laughs> Stanislav is in charge of raising the midsummer pole. Our fire safety expert, Ashley, is in charge of the bonfire. Finally, I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help, the party will begin in no time. So it sounds like similar things we've done in previous years, but with new characters and... There's a stage. I see a stage. There's a whole picnic area. Hold on. What's over here? Oh, there's new items. Oh, and we could buy the previous year's stuff if we didn't get them, which I think I have them all. But there's a new set. In white. That's really cool. I like these jackets, too. Dusty trail trousers. Rough enough for trail rides, fashionable enough for the disco. That's awesome. I think my favorite item is these shoes, these boots. I kind of want to get them because I don't think I have any white boots. Oh, they look super cool. All right, I'm putting those on. Sold. Oh, look, someone's doing the frog dance already. We can't see it, but they've probably built the maypole. You can also see that a lot of people are running around with the same sweater and pants. Oh, I'm in the way of her maypole. The same ripped jeans and sweater and shoes. Those came from the last episode of this season's Star Stable News. They're super cool. I have them as well, but I just didn't put them on. But the sweater is adorable. Game Master Yilva picked these items out herself and made them available for free for everyone. Yay! Okay, let's get started. Ranger Dylan, what do you have for us? Oh, great. You must be the volunteer Marisol promised me. I'm in charge of the Midsummer Banquet. There's going to be salmon from South Hoof, herring from Cape West, potatoes from Steve's, of course, and fresh berries from Mistfall. I can't wait to stuff my face. Not that I would touch anything until the guests have arrived. <laughs> in any case, before we set out the food, someone needs to set up the tables and chairs. You'll help with that, won't you? I thought he was going to ask me to help, like partake in the feast, not set up the tables. Thomas Morland was kind enough to offer up some folding chairs and tables from his stable. He should have set them out, so all you need to do is ride down with your horse and pick them up. Done. Oh, okay, and apparently that's where we put them. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, I found them. Here they are, picking up. Oh. Okay. Okay, two delivered, Ranger Dylan. 
Nice work with the tables and chairs. Remind me to thank Thomas later. He's been so helpful with the festivities this year. Said something about making sure the girls who came to his riding camp see Jorvik at its best. Speaking of Jorvik's best, let's get that banquet set up. Sure. Oh! Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, done. That was easy. I love these chairs, though. Yay! And the tablecloths match my dress. Perfect. <laughs> A movable feast. James at Fort Pinta is generously sponsoring the food for the banquet. He just sent me a text saying that everything is ready for pickup, so maybe you should ride down to Fort Pinta and pick it up. It should be waiting for you next to the disco. Gladly. What else you got for me? A good party is a loud party. We're expecting a big turnout at this year's party. It's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone laughing and having fun. A good party is a loud party, am I right? We're expecting a big turnout at this year's party. It's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone laughing and having fun. A good party is a loud party, am I right? I want people to feel the oons, oons, oons in their bones. <laughs> Fortunately, James also offered to let us borrow speakers from the Fort Pinta Disco to use at the midsummer stage. Think you could pick those up as well? Since I'm going to be over there, I might as well. Please don't make me do it in three trips. All right. Hey, man, you probably should put it all in the boxes. Why are some sitting on top? Okay. But I need my horse to pick up the speakers. What's happening? Oh, so amazing. Hey, thanks, Jojo. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. I picked those up. At the same time. Could I have picked them all up at the same time? Am I making multiple unnecessary trips? I'll never know. Okay, they just stack. Got it. Ah, I did that group in one trip. That's good. Okay. Smells so good. I could eat the banquet myself. Okay, okay. I'll wait till everyone else has had some first. No, where's she going? Wow. That's a lot of food. It looks great, Ranger Dylan. Now we're ready to pump up the volume. This midsummer party is going to be off the chain. Oh! <laughs> I hear country music in my headphones. <laughs> very, very loud country festival music. Okay. I wonder, okay, as long as the vo as long as the levels are not higher than mine. My favorite thing about midsummer parties growing up was the way they brought the whole community together. That's why this year we're inviting people you might have met from all around Jorvik to share in the festivities. Who knows, you might even see some new faces as well. I prepped the invitations while you were setting up the banquet. Now we just have to drop them in the mailbox. Would you mind dropping them off for me? No, because you put a mailbox here at the festival area, so gladly. Oh, they're not in my inventory. Oh, we just click it. Okay, good. Great. Tables and chairs? Check. Food? Check. Oons, oons, oons? Check. I, I wouldn't necessarily call this music, you know, heavy bass music, but everything's covered on my end. Thanks for your help, Cadence. You are welcome, sir. Can we sit down? Oh, we can. <laughs> this is great. I need to take a picture of myself eating alone at midsummer. <laughs> no wrong way. Every Midsummer Festival needs a bonfire to keep the party going into the night, so we should just gather up some logs, douse them with lighter fluid, and get the flame on, right? Get the flame on. R wrong! Okay, I'm sorry. Fire is not something we rangers take lightly. One spark is all it takes to turn a forest into cinders. That's why this year we're doing things my way. The safe way. I already picked out the site for the bonfire, 18 meters from any trees or buildings. Now we need some kindling to serve as the foundation for the fire. Old Jasper offered up some spare lumber that he's been storing by the farmhouse over yonder. 
That should do nicely. Could you and Skypedal help bring it up here? You'll use proper lifting technique getting those logs onto your horse, right? Of course you will. We're sisters in safety. That's very true. We've been very haphazard about the bonfires in the past. <laughs> okay, so we need to collect some base logs. Where is my horse? There it is. Oh, Jasper's farmhouse. Over here somewhere then. Ah. Because Jasper lives on the pumpkin farm now. Got them. Perfect! Our bonfire is off to a great start. And as a bonus, we took care of a fire hazard at Jasper's farmhouse. A double win for safety! I like that we're automatically getting off our horse and completing these tasks. I don't have to do anything. and It's wonderful. Awesome! So we have the base for the bonfire. That is a great start. And it actually looks way more impressive than our bonfire from last year. We need more fuel to make sure this fire blazes long into the night, and I know just where to find it. There's a GED construction site nearby with plenty of lumber. You and Skypedal are going to take it. Stealing? No way. The Yorvik Rangers are government servants. I'm simply commandeering that lumber for the public good. Trust me, it'll be fine. I like you, Ranger Ashley. Wait, where's my horse? There it is. And I like that a lot of the places we have to venture to are not super far. Because it was kind of a pain to run from the middle of Eberwyn Fields back to Steve's farm and then back to Eberwyn Fields, back to Steve's farm. Okay. We have returned. That should be enough wood to get us started. I'm pretty sure Kima from Mistfall will be bringing more li wood later from the trail she's cleared. Oh, this party's about to heat up. Oh, that looks super impressive. Oh, we're so close. Time to get this baby burning. Normally, I would insist on lighting it myself for maximum safety, but considering how much you helped, perhaps you'd like the honor? Yes. I'm oh, oh, we're carrying a torch. Okay, got it. <laughs> Oh, I like how she holds it like a magic wand. Yay! <laughs> She's doing a little dance. Yes, yes, burn, burn. Ahem. Sorry about that. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Good job with the fire. Very safe. Yes, and beautiful. Thanks, Ranger Ashley. Now on to Ranger. Stanislav. Is his hair blue? Cool. Okay. You can't celebrate midsummer without a midsummer pole. It needs to be tall enough to be seen from far away, but also wide and strong enough to last through weeks of partiers dancing round and round. It so happens there's a perfect pole just down the way by Jasper's farmhouse. I checked with the owner and he says we're more than welcome to take it. It's too heavy for me to carry, but I see you have a good strong horse. Maybe the two of you could fetch the pole up there? Gladly. I wish I knew where my horse was. There it is. Oh, right through the picnic area. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I didn't even see it. I thought this was part of the farmhouse. This is almost as funny as one of the first times I played and I had to balance the Christmas tree on the back of my horse. This is amazing. <laughs> Hello, I have the pole. Hello. Um, here, take it, please. Hello. There we go. Perfect. Now we just need to decorate it. Okay. We wrap the midsummer pole in fresh green leaves to celebrate the season. There are plenty of branches in the woods between here and Moreland Stables. We'll need a lot of leaves, so take your horse and gather as many as the two of you can carry. A proper midsummer pole is decorated with wildflowers to showcase the beauty of summer. I don't think Thomas Moreland would mind if you picked some flowers from the woods nearby. Why don't you and your horse go and pick a good mix of blooms? Once we've once you've wrapped the leaves around the pole, you can then use those flowers to decorate it. Alright, so we need some leaves and flowers. Copy that. 
12 okay wow okay 12 leaves and 12 flowers oh there's a lot over here by conrad hey conrad they're kind of in my horse's butt though i hope he's comfortable i almost don't want to pick them they look really cool all sparkling over here the pole is looking great now it's time to decorate yay Ooh, and it's got ribbon! I don't recall picking up ribbon, but okay. Wonderful. This will be the most impressive midsummer pole yet. And now we're adding the flowers. Oh, it looks so cool! The midsummer pole is looking great, but I can't help but feel as if it's missing something. I know, flower wreaths. Flower wreaths are the final touch our pole needs to celebrate the traditional way. It so happens I've set up a workstation for guests to make their own flower crowns. You could use that to assemble larger wreaths as well. Head on over to the flower crown workstation and make four wreaths for our pole. Oh, okay. Ooh. Wreath crafting. The rangers have already made sure to supply you with the resources needed to craft four wreaths. Press the craft button to begin crafting a wreath. Oh. Oh, okay. Ooh, this is like our first taste of crafting in the game. Did I get them? Hello? I guess I have them? Maybe? Hopefully? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh, those are huge! <laughs> this is not the wreath I was expecting. Splendid, let's place them on the pole. Sure, sure. Oh, cool. Okay. There's only one thing left to do. It's time to raise the pole. We'll do it together. On my mark. Three, two. I guess it's on our mark. It's fine. Ooh, there it goes. Nice. Now it really looks like a midsummer area. Just look at that. The finest midsummer pole in all your pick. Even though it's the only one. And a perfect setting for the frog dance. You remember the moves, right? Nay. Oh, things are happening. <laughs> oh, can't forget jumping, of course. I don't know how this goes. Before we break out the sparkling juice, there's just one last little detail that will make this a midsummer for Jorvik to remember. Can you guess? That's right. Someone has to place the Jorvagian flag on the top of the midsummer pole. You outdid yourself volunteering, which is why we think the honor of raising the flag should go to you. Here you are. Go ahead and climb up there, Cadence. You can do it. Thanks, Marisol. I like how Stanislav has a wreath now. He did not have one before, <laughs> earlier. Oh, that's a very tiny little flag for the top of the maypole. Ooh, people are coming! That's Madison! And the Hermit! Hello, friends! Welcome! <laughs> I always tear up a little when the Yorvikian flag waves. Even if you're not from Yorvik, any young lady with a love for horses can call Yorvik home. We're all family here, and that's why this is going to be the best Midsummer Festival ever! Now let's start the music and break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival 2018 begin. Thank you, madam. Nice. Okay, now we can finally see what's in this tent. Hello. Tent? Oh, welcome to the Midsummer Tent. This tent is said to sometimes grant whoever enters a vision of someone close to you, maybe even the love of your life. You'll need to collect seven unique flowers before entering, however, and you will find them in hidden spots around the festival area. Oh, no, I don't want to be fishing. I want to collect a flower. I caught something. I caught a hat! <laughs> Green goddess hat. Unlock your inner nature goddess with this fashionable midsummer hat. Uh, thanks. I thought I was picking up a flower. <gasps> oh, oh, it's the mime. The mime is here, you guys. He freaked me out a little bit. 
One more. Oh, it's the hermit. Why is he standing out here like a creeper? You can go in and get some food, guy. You don't have to stand out here. Oh. Um, not to pick more flowers than you need. Oh, thanks. Is that Maya? Maya's here too. You should never be rude to sport- what? You should never be rude to a sport jumping horse. Want to know why? Because he might take offense. Offense? Offense? No? That was funnier in my head. <laughs> Rhiannon? My favorite food at the buffet? Definitely the salmon. It's so much fresher here in the south. I love that they're talking to me like we're friends or something. Who else is here? Loretta! Celebrating Midsummer in Moorland without Justin being here is just wrong. They're making a Cantor Ella movie here in Yorvik. Pretty cool, huh? Of course, my favorite superhero movie is Radioactive Sewer Squad from the 90s. Why? Because it has Raptor on the soundtrack. He was so cute back then. <gasps> Ms. Drake is here. When I was little, I loved making flower crowns for Midsummer. It didn't matter how sloppy they turned out, I wouldn't let my parents help. I had to do it myself. That was way nicer than she's ever been. I'm a little freaked out. Alright, I have my flowers. Let's do this vision quest. You have found the seven flowers. Please enter the tent and await the vision. Okay. Ah, here we go. I see a bright light. Oh, and a GED goon. Gross. No. Oh, he's, he's leaving. Oh, it's Sky Petal. Yay. Beautiful. Look at all the hearts. I love it. <laughs> I guess my true love is Sky Petal. <laughs> So, can we make some more wreaths? Ah! Craft your own flower crown by adding a special flower to the empty slot. Special flowers can be found at various places all over Yorvik. Hint! Look at the flower map here and the workbench. Press the craft button to begin crafting the flower crown. So we have a bunch of different flowers. It looks like daisies and sunflowers. Smother. I'm not really into flowers. I could not tell you, but... Oh, okay. There's some- ooh, okay! So, there's some in Mistfall and South Hoof, Epona, Moorland, what's this one, like, uh, the winery? Silverglade Equestrian Center and, uh, Valedale, maybe? Cool! Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun doing the new Midsummer stuff and we have so much more in store. There's also some new circus quests we need to do. Plus I've progressed a little bit with Elizabeth and the Druids so we can maybe do a little bit more of the story quests. My quest log is full. I don't know about you guys, but I still have tons of catching up to do. Let's check out uh, available. Look at that. And we still have stuff going on in Mistfall. Syntax error, Mrs. X. That's some more story quest stuff. So this is going to be super fun. Yay! Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye!